Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to talk about this life cycle method get derived state from error. So this will help us to intercept the error coming from any of the child component. We don't need to render the child component if there is some kind of error is coming. So for that we can actually use get derived state from error. This is also a static method and we have actually created one error boundary class. Here we can have this method get derived state from error. So whenever any of the child component triggering some kind of error then this has error will become true. If this has error become true it's like it is updating so it is returning the state. Has error is true is a part of state now. So we are checking has error is true. If it is false if, the, if you have the has error then we are returning error otherwise we are returning the children for this com component. So in the app.js we can actually wrap this around this has boundary component this error boundary we can have as a wrapper so whatever we are getting an as an error from any of these child components that will get intercepted in the error boundary so error boundary can be one of your parent component in the app.js so whenever the error occurred we will be able to capture that in the component did catch and here it will be able to update the state so here we can check it so the advantage of this is whenever there is an error occurring we don't need to render the children we can just return some jsx oops something some error has occurred we will not see the 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 lot of messages on the console of your react application a url okay this has happened this is undefined lot of things are coming up right so here you can just uh, put a message here you can also have another state which is talking about what message which you have received. So here we can actually get error.message also. And then this dot state dot error you can print here. Okay, so we can hash error is true if error is occurring and we are getting the error message component did catch is actually used to actually console.log the message so here we are catching it and this render function will help us to prevent the rendering of children component if there is an error and we are able to console it somewhere okay this is the reason why this uh, component we are not able to render the component okay so, so this component did catch is actually special error boundary uh, for the component Okay, for example, this is the error boundary component we have. Here we have component did catch and get derived state from props. Most common use case for the component did catch is catching and logging the errors. Okay, so this is how you can create error boundary for your React components, and we can just put a nice message whenever there is a error is occurring in any of the child component. Thanks, everyone.